so it's like a home video thing. Cute! The fun thing is it's on tapes. I love that! I have a mate who is going to help me convert the tapes to digital. My name is Hudson Reed, I'm 22, and I'm a photographer, creative person who makes documentaries even though they never took a film course in their life. year 2018 I was in Sydney until March when my visa expired and then I flew home at the beginning of fall in Australia but the beginning of spring in Hong Kong what that did was um, it gave me I went from summer to summer and then I was home for six months when I, I was like, oh yeah, I'll be back in a month or something. Six months later, I come back to Sydney and it's summer. The year of eternal summer is basically the culmination of that year um, being three summers instead of winter, summer, spring, fall. It was just summer. So I just felt like, felt like a long time. I hate it. I, I can't do summer. I decided, oh, what's my next project gonna be? Because I originally started one and I scrapped it. I was like, no, I don't wanna do this right now. So it's shelved in my head. What can I do next? How can I challenge myself? And I was like, what's this year been like? depression for a while now and it's not like a sense of oh I'm depressed I'm sad all the time but with that what was it that made me enjoy my time so the subtitle of this project could basically be yeah I was depressed but my dad and I bought donuts in LA together or something I used that and the capturing of my happy moments in Polaroids to shape this project, to turn the year of eternal summer into what it is now. I started the year with an art show in February, February 7th, 2018. I still remember the date because I wrote it in the bathroom of the venue. That was crazy. And throughout the year, I was like, oh, I had an art show. And then people were like, when was it? I was like, oh, it's this year. It happened in February, and now I can say it happened a year ago, but that was definitely one of the best points of my life that year. I've never felt successful like that, honestly. Um, I've never felt as happy and proud of myself, because um, it's not bad to feel proud of yourself. that moment where I was like, I want to do more. I never thought that my art would be successful like that.
And then I have to leave Australia. Hey mom, come tell a joke. Yeah? Come tell a joke. Cleaning up, and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Hong Kong, but I was born in Texas, lived in Memphis, and then moved to Hong Kong when I was five. And my family's been there for about 17, 18 years now. So that's home to me. Great city, great place. I think I'll move there, unless I get a job, maybe, but, um, yeah, it's a good city. March of that year, my visa expired, so I was on a plane out back home to Hong Kong for a bit to figure out if I was going to go back to uni or if I was going to go back and work for a year and then go back to uni or if I was just going to stay in Hong Kong. I didn't want to stay in Hong Kong. It wasn't right for me there. I knew from the first night I was there, I was like, it's good to be home and see family, but I can't be here long. Mentally, emotionally, and physically, I cannot be here because it is not my place to be at this time. Because I love my family, I love my church, I love my community. It just didn't sit right with me being there. In Sydney, I have been more my own, whereas back home, it's like what my parents have built for me, as in, we had a family dinner once and you came over, or I've grown up next to you. Here, everything I've built is my own. Friends, experience, connections, everything. I built it all myself. I'm fully planted here. I'm not just here for a bit and then heading out. I know so many people who do that and just leave and go plant themselves somewhere else, and that's amazing. But for me, I'm very invested in Sydney. I'm very locally grown. The reason I'm putting this show on here is because I've had a show already and the community from that has been so strong. I just want to keep building that, connecting with that, experiencing with that same community. And this will bring together a whole set of community that I never thought possible. I want this to be something I've built myself because it's more real, I think. I don't know. It's fine, we can scratch that bit. I'll do what I can, and pause. I know my boy for the exploitation. 
of friends and relatives. <laughs> okay. I'm at the meeting of prayer right now, so I should uh, let you go, boy. Have a good Wednesday. All right, it's good. It's good. I'm glad I got you on the video chat because your ceiling is looking awesome. Peace out. Thank you so much. Oh. We are boys. Oh.